just yesterday I did a live stream where I showed off some of my, I call my indie treasures, some bobbleheads and uh, a few other things, but I forgot one of my most prized possessions. And I forgot it because it was really hiding in plain sight on my desk. It's this little mug. My Pat Flaherty mug. Commemorative frosted glass, cool wood handle. On the back, car owner John Zink. Pat won the Indy 500 in 1956. He had about 19 Indy starts, I think. He's a good driver. Passed away in 2002. He's a California guy, Glendale, California. So I like this little mug, but here is where the story gets interesting and why I have hung on to it for so long. So many years ago, I was having a yard sale at my house in Indianapolis, and who should walk up but Indianapolis Motor Speedway historian Donald Davidson. And he saw me drinking a beer out of this mug and he said, hey, would you like to sell that? And I said, you mean the beer? And he laughed, he goes, no, the mug. I said, well, I think I'm gonna hang on to it. And so he said, okay. And he actually stayed there for a few minutes and talked about the Indy 500 with me. It was really great and neat experience. And for that reason, I'm going to hang on to this mug because Donald Davidson said, hey, if you ever want to sell that, come to the Speedway Museum and look me up. That was a pretty cool moment. 